This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, uh, so hi everyone. We will be starting our next topic that is effect recording. Okay, so the, so the topics that we are going to cover, they are in the, in the defect recording. We will see what is defect recording. What is defect recording? Defect recording overview. Manual and automatic defect recording. How to do defect recording manually and how to do automatically. Okay. And defect recording at inspection lot level, at operation level, and characteristic level. I'll show you this in the system. Then different variants for defect recording. Okay. Then how to plan the defect recording using a confirmation profile, catalog profile, and report type. This we will cover. We will cover. Then how to activate a quality notification from the created defect record. Okay, so during defect record, uh, defect recording, how to activate the quality notification. We will understand this. Then defect recording customization. Okay, so these are the <clears throat> topics we will be covering in the defect recording. Defect record. Okay, so first we'll start with the defect recording, introduction to defect record. Okay. So basically, when you process an inspection lot, you can record the results for the inspection in the form of characteristic values or defects. So normally in our quality inspection process, after the inspection lot is created, after the inspection lot is created, then once the physical inspection, inspection activity is completed, the next step is quality inspection. So results recording. So the quality analyst will go to the system. He will enter the results. So during the results recording, if there is any defect, any failure, suppose let's say the characteristic value is not within the range, within the permissible limits, then you are you can do the defect record. Defect record. So this is the one. So based on certain event in our quality management module, system will generate an inspection. This we have covered in our previous sessions. Then after that, there will be a sample determination, sample quantity calculation. After that, the physical inspection will happen. Then the analyst will come to the system and he will do the results recording. So during the results recording, if there is any failure or if any characteristic is not as per the limits, then we have the option of doing the different record. So this defect recording is an optional step normally. And after the defect recording, our as usual process, we will do the UD, usage decision, and followed by the stop step. So today we are concentrating on this defect recording. Defect recording. Okay. So a defect is any property or attribute of a material, product, or process that does not meet the inspection characteristic specification. That means defect is nothing but the attribute of a material which is not meeting the its specifications. Okay, so it, it's 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 not as per within the limits, as per the specification. You record you record the defects with the help of predefined defect codes maintained in the inspection catalogs. This I will show it in the system how to do defect recording using catalog profile. I'll show you this. Okay. You can record defects in the form of defect records using the QM component. Okay, so, so defect recording will be done. Defects, you can record the defects using defect recording function. Okay, you can analyze defects and their causes on the basis of defect records. So once you have defect recording, you have you have the option of analyzing these defects and their causes, why the defect happened. Okay. And also you can determine what corrective action is necessary to eliminate the defect cause and to prevent, prevent them from recurring. So you also have, have the option of preventive and current corrective action based on this defect recording. Okay. So this we have discussed just now. So after results recording, if there is any failure, those things you record using the defect recording function. Okay. So now let's move on. So we will now understand methods of defect recording. What are the different methods? Okay. 
so normally defect recording occurs using defect codes okay you can define the error codes using catalog type 9 okay i will show you this in the system we we discussed what are catalogs codes code groups all these catalogs during our master data classes but i again i will show you today with the catalog type 9 okay depending on the specifications in the confirmation profile system takes you immediately to the detail screen for re defect record okay so based on certain settings you make it in the system system will take you immediately to the defect recording system i will show you this in the system in a minute okay you can create defect records manually for an inspection lot at any time so uh, there is also option of doing the defect recording for inspection log lot at any time okay that option is also available it i will show you this in the system if you if you perform an inspection with task list or metal specification you can also record defects for an inspection or characteristics okay so that is also possible you can do the defect recording for a characteristic directly okay or, or even for an operation i'll show you this in addition to direct entry screen for defect recording you can also switch to defect recording from results recording transaction or when you make the usage decision so instead of triggering the defect recording from a separate transaction you can do defect recording from the results recording screen or or even from the usage decision screen that option is also available. so these are the methods so you can do defect recording manually manually and you can do it automatically automatically we will discuss both okay so let's start with manual so basically you have the options of okay so defect recording defect recording either you can do manual you can do manually manual okay manual another one is you can do automatically okay so let's let, let's put it like this another one is automatic automatic so first we'll start with the manual okay so in the manual you can do defect recording basically from a from a separate transactions using the call up method okay so this you can do defect recordings from using a separate transaction for an inspection lot for an operation or for an inspection characteristic okay so this is using a separate transactions manual so first another first option available is separate transactions okay another one is you can do during results record from the results recording screen recording screen okay and also you can do during the usage decision usage decision usage decision okay so you can do this whereas automatic you need to make certain settings i will show you that so first let's start with the manual defects recording okay so as i just explained you can do the defect recording by using separate transactions or you can do defects recording during the results recording and also during the usage decision function okay so this is the one either you can you trigger by using a different transaction codes or during the results recording process or during the usage decision activity you can do defect recording and once you do the defect recording you can trigger a quality notification this already we covered during our quality notification session okay but anyhow let me show you this again today okay so now so as i just explained defect records can be created in following ways the system can create defect records automatically during results recording this is automatic automatic i'll show you this also and you can create defect records manually using the defect recording function so first you will see this manually okay so so i'll show you first the manual one using the separate transactions okay so let me go to the system okay i'm into the system now so let me take this material okay so this material i will create an inspection lot 
okay i will create a manual inspection lot okay i'll create a manual inspection lot let me enter the material plant 1000 inspection lot origin 89 enter okay let's say the quantity is 100 liter it's a sulfuric acid it's a liquid material okay and I'm, I'm entering the batch number then i'll assign the inspection plan okay and i'll calculate the sample quantity then i'm saving the lot i'm creating the inspection lot okay so now for this inspection lot let's go to change mode this is our inspection lot now as i told earlier defect recording function you can do at any time so suppose if i go here you can create defect records manually for an inspection lot at any time okay so now i have the lot with me so now to do the defect recording what you can do i'll show you the menu path of the t code separate transactions go to logistics go to quality management quality inspection okay here you have defects open this here you have three options record for inspection lot record for operation and record for characteristic so let me show you first record for inspection lot. double click you get this one normally you will get like this enter your inspection lot and you have the report type here okay what is this report type why it is used we will discuss in a minute so let me select a report type for the time being 